Uh, today's meeting for the Neighborhood Restoration Beautification Commission, August 8th, 2022 at 8 a.m. I'll start with roll call. <coughs> yes, here. Kelly Grieby, here. John McCracken, here. Jermaine Sullivan, here. Mary Kay Wilkos. Okay, next item, the approval of last meeting minutes. Um, I'll make a motion to approve them. Second. Roll call. Lucas Richardson. Yes. Kelly Grieby. Yes. John McCracken. Yes. Jermaine Sullivan. Yes. Mary Kay Wilkos. Yes. Okay. Okay, next item is equipment purchases. So it looked like Chief and Kelly went to buy. <coughs> we did. What was that, a Friday, two Fridays ago? Was that a Friday? Mm -hmm. We purchased all the items approved by the uh, commission. If I have time this week, I'll see if I can snap a photograph of them. Our water pressure pressure washer came in. They're all in the uh, police lockup down at the DPW. However, we do have a challenge of finding an electric source to charge the batteries. I thought I had electricity installed in there years ago, but I did not. So I'll have to figure out where we can charge the batteries. Uh, questions to be answered at a later date will, will be as far as who's in charge of maintenance of those items, um, winterization, things like that. Um, I don't know that it'll be a huge issue because the DPW is heated and it'll be inside a room for the pressure washer. I, I don't know. But they were all purchased. I suspect we'll probably have to, uh, I think I'm going to get safety glasses. That's something I just, we didn't, this commission didn't think about um, amongst all the other things we put on the list, but we're probably going to need to buy an abundance of safety glasses for all the volunteers or whomever. Yeah. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, all the equipment was purchased. I uh, be purchased it at Gilroy. Gilroy's. I thought they, you know, we'd be shopped around at, you know, basically three places for price uh, comparison. I, uh, four places. We being Kelly Grevy, um, and I thought they did a great job working with us. And uh, it, yeah, mission accomplished. Do we need to get a? paint marker to mark those NRBC or anything like that to identify them? No, I'll just take a permanent marker and write on them. Oh, permanent marker? Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> when we have a project or when we, we have any anything that we need that equipment for, are we going to have a check checkout list? I would recommend that we have a checkout uh, sign-out sheet um, so that we can just track our equipment. Um, these projects, as you've seen, are probably going to require some people bring in their own equipment, which I don't have a problem doing. Um, but uh, just for uh, just tracking purposes, I think that's a great idea. Is that something that we could just have printed out and just put on a clipboard right next to where we're storing it all? Sure, whatever you'd like. Anything else on equipment? Uh, possibly. So, Chief, I sent you a screenshot of a proposed signage for the vests on email. Okay. And we could bring that up. When did you send that to me? Oh, uh, probably uh, a week ago. <laughs> okay. You mean this says NRBC? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't need to. I mean, if just the letters NRB. I'm not sure what it looked like. I apologize. But if it's just the letters NRBC, I think it's fine. Um, I don't. I've, what I've got is NRBC, and then I've got City of Manistee at the bottom of it. Yeah. I don't, does anybody, I don't see an issue. I appreciate you doing that. You and I can coordinate. If, if it works out, if you like the way it looks, I can work on getting the rest of the vest done that way, too. Is that what you're looking for? Or? I was looking for approval. <laughs> of the, I didn't know if there was a font size or if I could say City of Manistee on the back of it. Um, if you just look in your email, maybe we could pull that up and people could see it. We did have a model. I don't have a way to get my email on here. Okay. Um, but what I can do is, is share that. I don't. I I feel comfortable if you, if you're, since you're asking me um, about putting uh, NRBC. I mean, City when you get City of Manistee, might be small, so small that they might not be able to see it, but. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty visible. It's, okay. Well, and um, do we have multiple sizes of vests? I don't know. 
What do we have? I think we just bought all one Big, size. All like one we size. just bought yeah, all two it's all extra large. But I've or I've got uh, access to a laser cutter, so I can cut out a template, and we can take a fabric paint and roll it, hmm. almost like silk screening, but. Um, I can send that to, uh, if we're deciding that whatever I came up with is okay, I can send it via email to everybody just so you can see it. Um, because I guess we're, we're a quorum and we're deciding we're um, live, so okay, I think that everybody will like it. Um, so as a liaison, I, I, it sounds good. What I'll do today is I'll check with the city manager, make sure he okays the city man being on it, and we can move forward. Okay. Fair enough? Let me know. I'll do one, and then I'll bring it in and just uh, double check. But I think everybody will like it. It's, it looks professional, so. Okay. Um, I guess the next item is talking about the projects. So I think everybody's sending myself and Mary the um, descriptions and how many people that we need, all, like the logistics based off the projects. Where are we at on that? I guess we can just start, we'll move this way, with the wall. <coughs> I'm just waiting for the, uh, uh, this thing. Uh, the waiver. Yeah. Um, <laughs> waiting for the waiver to come back. I, I mailed it to him. I just stopped at my office to see if it came back. And I don't have it, so I will call him. And then um, I have a masonry guy that's going to come and see if he can just. There's a couple of. Uh, like patch them or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just do that. Not charge us. So. How do you think, um, how long do you think it's going to take to like clean that and how many people you need? Just I don't, I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Okay. I, I, I have no clue whatsoever. I don't okay. think it's going to take a lot of people. We, we just have to power wash it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're at, we're waiting for the waiver on that and then waiting for a, a mason to come to take a look at it. I'm just waiting for the waiver before I have anybody else go out there. Yeah, we'll have to wait yes. for that anyway to go clean it. Yeah. So. And we're working for waivers for our project list too, getting, having police find the time to get out there to actually have them sign the waivers. So we'll continue that process. Uh, moving forward, when we have projects, <clears throat> I think we've had some concerns communicated by members of the public. We're, we're not gonna release addresses. We're just gonna label them as letters. So project A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Evidently there's some uh, public, persons in the public that, that do not prefer their addresses being out there. Um, we will be having posting photographs in our meetings because we have to to determine a scope. But moving forward, I'll make sure that I list those as Project A, B, C, D, and hopefully someday we're down to Z. But um, just moving forward. Okay. Keep those off the agenda too. You think? Yes. Okay. So this, for this one, though, I just wrote down at the bottom of it just pertaining to the wall. Nothing else on the front. And then, uh, so we're working towards those new projects, it sounds like. <clears throat> so commission members are working uh, to establish the scope. I would also uh, recommend this group look at beautification projects as well. Um, for this summer, beautification, whatever that might be, right of way, trimming, whatever it might be. But uh, we discussed at the last meeting, so I wanna remind uh, this group. Yeah, you sent stuff in. Yeah. I guess you want to just take everybody out there. Sure. Uh, so, uh, one thing I'd like to ask is uh, since you're kind of the focal point for what's on the agenda, do you need that stuff in like the Friday before the. What is your timeline to. Yeah, for the agenda. Yeah. It'll be posted by Thursday, I think. Yeah. Thursday? So that it can be posted on the website okay. prior to the meeting on okay. Monday. All right. 
I missed, I missed this last it's, week because no, it was on Thursday and Friday. Right. So. Okay. <laughs> no, I just wanted to uh, talk about um, some of these. Uh, I apologize, Chief. I like gave you a barrage of emails <laughs> post our last meeting. Um, but you had asked to, for me to send pictures of, of homes with busted out windows. Mm -hmm. And I just, uh, I didn't explore all of Manistee, but I found four pretty easily. Three homes are um, pretty sure abandoned. One home I don't think was. But in the definition of blight, it's, it talks about broken windows. And I don't know what we can do to address that. I know that our white officers are out there, you know, talking to people and so forth. But uh, one of the houses has got multiple windows broken out, and right in front of the of the street is a sign that says the uh, farmers market this way. So people are driving right past this house, mm -hmm. and I understand <coughs> that it's going to be probably. Uh, demolished at some point. I don't know when. What, I, what street is this house on? What street? I, yeah. I won't name the address, okay, but it's in Monroe. Yeah, and that's, that's nothing you sent me hasn't already been addressed, and that's being addressed specifically. Right. The lumber's been purchased for that and will be placed hopefully this week, depending on how the rain is. Oh, so. to board it up? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. The, the only reason why we can board that up so quickly is because we have a court order to demolish that residence. Yeah. Uh, if it was a different type of residence, there's a due process prop due process for that okay so if you have a house and you have a broken window and and uh, we the city can't come and just board it up we have to go through the regular blight process hopefully you would comply and replace that window but if you didn't we have to take you to court we have to do all these things and then get a court order eventually that one um uh, not the case fire damage oh i i had hoped that that dem demolition would have taken place sooner it hasn't um, so we're going to board that up, and then what we're going to do is, once the house is demolished, we're going to retrieve that wood to use on future projects. Great. I was thinking about yeah. that, too. So there's also one on 5th Street. Uh, I think it's 5th and Davis, possibly. Uh, over there, it's... Uh, I don't know what the situation with that one is, but the... Uh, the front door is broken in. Mm -hmm. uh, windows are broken out. And is this the, the yeah? Oh, sorry. This is being oh, time to get up. Uh, yeah, it's, that's being addressed. All the ones you sent me already been addressed. Okay. So uh, I, in the process, one. Yeah, I've noticed that these houses are have been that way for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And I just feel that we should be bringing these things up at this this uh, yeah. this form. And I know that there's due process. There's but. You know, if we keep on asking the question, seems things seem to be rolling forward. I didn't know that or, lumber had been ordered for the one on the roll, so I brought that up. But it'd be nice just to check in on the status of these as we move forward that are, are truly blight situations like mm -hmm. that. Um, but thank you. Mm -hmm. um, what else did we have here? Uh, I was just talking about the, the few projects that you oh. Got the volunteers, yeah, or like the estimates for, I guess. Um, time. Um, I'll jump to the project list, mm -hmm. okay? So, um, I was able to get quite a few volunteers, uh, for our commission here to help trim trees and things like that over the past couple of weekends, and I just turned those into Mary. And one thing that I was thinking about is that on our, um, our waiver is that we don't really have an area for contact information. So um, I've... For us? Uh, no, for the people that sign on. Ah, for the people. So um, I turned in uh, a few of those waivers to, to Mary just a few minutes ago. And I had people just kind of handwrite their phone numbers on. It was a flurry of activities, so I'm going to owe you... Um, some contact uh, information on those. Um, some people said, well, that's, you know, the volunteers that I talked to, they thought that that, that was great. Um, they uh, are, you know, the timing, we kind of talked about a specific date or dates in September. And because we've got limited pieces of equipment, um, I was wondering if we're not going to have uh, issue with 
we've only got, I don't know, two weed whackers, and we've got six opportunities to help out. You know, two hedge trimmers. I know that, you know, the two places that, you know, were identified for me, we've got a lot of that stuff we'll be needing. Um, so I would like to suggest that um, we, you know, I, I could pull the two that are identified for me to pull them forward and start working on them. Uh, one of them uh, in particular um, we, was talked about working with, uh, uh, I don't know if it's the Department of Public Works, but they've got a lot of trees and bushes and is there somebody that we need to reach out to besides the light officer? Uh, is it tree commission? Where, tree where, commission, thank you. Is it in the right of way or where is it at? On private property or? Street. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. one with the, that the male lady can't get through the sidewalk. And, and I'd be willing to on start. fourth, you said? Fourth. Yeah, yeah. Fourth okay. Yeah, we need to coordinate with the tree commission on that. I would, uh, I would recommend someone reaching out to, I can't think of his name, uh, the, yeah. what is it? Yeah. Helgi? Yeah, the chair. Uh, as, a, as a professional courtesy to say, if we do this, is this going to give the tree commission a heartburn? There's also overgrown in the backyard, which the officers haven't photographed, but there's some significant work to be done in the backyard if this group of that project wants to try to take that on. That's on fourth, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. What was the uh, name? John Helge, H-E-L-G-E, -E, and he's a chair of the uh, tree commission. Yeah. So I will start reaching out to him now. Is that, is that Officer Shan's district as well? It's Chase, Chase Barber. He works nights. Okay. But I'll start working with these guys um, to, s to move this one along. I would just suggest that if you are going to plan on trying to move that ahead, just make sure that we are all aware of, of that. I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I, immediately I'll reach out to the Treaty yeah. Commission and to Chase well, Chase isn't going to be a whole bunch of works nights. So if you're going to go to the address beforehand, uh, I would ask that you go with an officer. Which to the one? the address. Uh, one with a badge and a gun. That doesn't matter. So why don't you talk to John Helge first? <laughs> um, why don't you talk to John Helge first and make sure there's no issues there? Okay. And then if you want to go with myself or someone else during the day to go over to in-person assess the scope of the project, we can manage that. Yeah. Is there, is there um, one of our officers that has a... Uh, uh, a relationship with the property owner already that we could pick or no no okay and we need to start that then um, start what that discussion with them just so they understand I went there with the officer to speak to the landlord or the owner there myself so I've I've spoken so to her right. yeah so you're gonna want a police officer when you go there so I wouldn't recommend going there by yourself right right no I didn't plan on it but I was just wondering which one so that might be you if you don't mind We'll see. Yep. Just get with John Helge. If, if they green light us, then you and I can coordinate when we can go over there. Okay. Sounds good. I think that's it. Thanks, Lucas. Okay. Um, Mary, Kelly, do you guys have updates on yours? Um, I've been on vacation, so I'll give you my updates this week. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Also, I sent a list of resources out that we got from the city attorney. Um, just a, that sheet that has a number of different resources for homeowners they could reach out to. I thought it was a great resource to have. Um, maybe if, as we do these projects, we can be handing out literature as well. Um, so. so, Chief, do we have approval from these homeowners, the ones that we've been assigned to already? We have verbal. I'm working on getting the written, the written okay. waiver done. Okay. Yeah. The, the wall. I just want to be clear before I... And that's something the police will, can manage before a project deadline, so... It sounds like we're kind of still in the working phases for everything, trying to uh, work towards September, is what it sounds like for a lot of stuff. Um, you mentioned sent a lot of volunteers to Mary. Did you mean just the waiver? Just the waiver. Okay. Send all the volunteers to Kelly. Mary's actually going to take. You're, she's going to take that now. Okay. We just talked about that before the meeting. Okay. All right. Never mind. Actually, that. <laughs> all right. Um, I guess 
Anything on beautification? Um, I think we can probably move on from that. No, I just think it's great to have a list compiled so that when we have people who like, hey, I got a day, I don't think we have to do a project a month in advance. If we've got something right away, this and that, I need a weed whack or two volunteers, we can bang that out as we go. And I know the city, uh, the city manager was trying to get a, a city staff day where we can do beautification projects probably on the same day. So it'd be nice to have a main, maintaining a list of that somehow. Yeah, um, knowing which ones are green lights. Yeah, I mean, the city right-of-ways is a green light. That's up to the homeowner to maintain, but it's city property. Um, I, again, speaking personally, I don't, I, that probably looks the worst when you have that the grass hike. It's the first thing you feel when you drive down the road is, you know, there's, so those types of things. Or we might see something down by the beach, the sand over the, those types of things. We should maintain a list and say, hey, when we get time, here's our list, and this is the tools that's going to need to achieve that. So we have blight and we have beautification. There might be something maybe more detailed. Uh, there might be a flower plant situation, just ideas. But uh, <coughs> I think as far as beautification, the sky's the limit. But I would recommend this group maintain some type of list. I wouldn't plant any flowers today, though. <laughs> um, next item was talking about graffiti i didn't know if this was something that we could tackle but mary had mentioned uh, that somebody uh, reached out to the police department and was concerned about graffiti on fourth avenue and they asked me to contact kelly yeah. about it oh. so, so i don't i don't think kelly did you you didn't reach out to them right we didn't reach out to them yet because we didn't know if that was a police issue first and but not for the cleanup, no. But, no. but I do know uh, someone who owns a painting company, Dave Shira, called me actually when this happened. We had the police department's investigating incident with about half a dozen houses in a car. There was graffiti uh, spray painted on them. Uh, I don't know Dave Shira's painting company, but he called me and said that they volunteered to clean up the, the graffiti on some of the residences for free. There were some challenges. Uh, there might have been some siding that wasn't that that couldn't happen on. I don't, I don't know the details. I don't know they could do the car. Uh, so there's a company locally who has volunteered to clean up the graffiti, um, at least most of it. So my understanding was that was in progress. I don't know what the status of that is. Sounds like it's nothing for us to worry about that. I don't know if this group wants to get into cleaning graffiti off of cars or, or things like that. I, I, I don't know. Um, I wasn't sure what the graffiti entailed if that was on like a park or something like that there are there is some graffiti on parks this summer uh we usually let the dpw know immediately and then they um eventually try to clean it up um if this group wants to uh take that on or inquire about it i think mickey's probably the best point of contact for that i know about a month ago there was some graffiti at the tennis courts by the teen center I think those were cleaned up last week, and then about a week ago there was some graffiti at the new tennis court, or the active tennis courts on First Street, um, and we let DPW know about it, so. Um. Okay. I think we can probably just let DPW and police handle that for right now I mean, we got a lot of other yeah we're investigating the criminal component usually when a city property the DPW cleans it up uh, I would suspect that if if they wanted help they could reach out to us but I don't know at this point that would be a, that might be a, just maybe a bridge too far as far as what this group is taking on this summer I think uh, that might detract us from the full sole purpose but it's worth it's worth the conversation right mm -hmm. And we, we hope to catch who's doing this. Uh, however, based on my experience, I suspect these are probably uh, juveniles based on the <coughs> artwork. So hopefully we catch them. But uh, every year there's, there's just a lack of respect by our young people. We can't, can't have anything nice, so to speak, so. Okay. Um. Next item was talking about exit interviews. We just wanted to circle back to talk about the project that John coordinated to make sure we got that filled out. Waiting for her to fill it out. I stopped by there twice, the third time I left it in the door. So I'll circle back this week. 
uh, have one of the officers do that to see if we can get that filled out. And, but uh, <coughs> at a certain point, uh, I just left it in the door. Okay. Cool. Um, I guess the last thing is just talking about whatever's you know on our minds. The first thing, the only thing that I had was um, last meeting we talked about trying to contact a bunch of the volunteer groups so we can just keep compi compiling the volunteer list. So just keep that in mind. That's still on all our task lists so to reach out to those few groups. I did um, some investigation on St. Joseph Church and I don't believe that they have a youth group, um, but I'm gonna actually call there directly today in time. Uh, it sounds like the Tabernacle wasn't interested or, oh, well, maybe that's not something they typically do. They're, they're uh, very much willing for us to volunteer for their projects, Josh, Chief Glass. <laughs> uh, that works, right? <laughs> um, they're, they've got their own uh, initiatives right now to be okay. addressing blight. Sure. Uh, Does it, is that in the city? I read the email. Did they give an address? They said that they have a significant blight project they're working on. Did they happen to give an address? Uh, they did not. They did not, but they, um, they're... They're not interested right now. Okay. They've got a lot of other projects that they're working on. Um, they're also, I don't know if you know it, but they're, um, they've got a, a tiny house development that they're working on, the building for uh, affordable housing in Manistee. So that's kind of at the top of their list. Okay, good. They're Busy church, it sounds like. Yeah, they are. They are. Um, um, Following our uh, last commission meeting, um, I was able to get quite a few uh, volunteers through the Alps Club too. So a little shot out there, I think I got a dozen. Um, they had, a, yeah, yeah, it was really nice. Um, they had a fundraiser and, uh, oh, I forgot his last name, but Monty, he's a local musician. He played and he lent me his microphone to grab the soapbox. So. Nice. I got there and you know, it, was, it was all cool. We got a bunch of them, turned them into uh, Mary here. So, I, I've got feelers out to UMC, United Methodist Church of Manistee. I suspect they're going to support that. I just don't know how many kids they have. And then I've got a feeler out to Manistee High, the football team. Um, I think that's a great resource for us next year in May, June, July. Football starts this week. Kids are busy, but as you saw in the paper, I don't know how many U of M fans we have here, but they went out across the state to do the same stuff. Not, not necessarily blight, but cleanup, reconstruction. Uh, that's a great team builder for the kids. So maybe that's a resource we really lean on in, in uh, May, June, July of next year as far as utilizing sports teams to help, for lack of a better term, clean up the city. I mean, you're teaching a young person how to invest in their community. I can't think of anything better. but. Talking with Alvin Rochelle, uh, and again, I've been removed from football so long that uh, practice starts, those kids are going to be busy, and it's going to be difficult to get them. I'm still going to see if there's something out that they could do, but I think that's probably a better resource and probably a good one on May, June, July, uh, and subsequent years here. Um, I have a question. So if we were to get something like a Girl Scout group or something, you know, do we have an age limit that we want? I mean minimal age uh, I don't know if our waiver states it um, probably for the equipment though right well, I'm thinking maybe just you know picking up rush or Reiki yeah I just met the waiver probably says yeah. something about it that doesn't have an age on it yeah I think it's a great conversation does this group does this group want to use just adults or they want okay with juveniles and to a certain age I mean I was wondering and if we need to, if we're having uh, minors involved, if we, at least our team leaders need to have background checks or anything like that. It's a great question. Yeah, I, it, right now, uh, my mind is 18 or older. Okay. Um, but if we're going to be reaching out to, uh, you know, kids, you know, I'm, I'm like, yeah, let's have some, let's at least ask that question. Okay. So I would recommend that at that point be 18 older and then we can look at future processes. 
um, doing background checks on people. We can look at that. Uh, it, does I don't, say, it does say that they agree to a criminal history check yeah. on the waiver, so. Yeah. But it does, we don't mention the age. Thought we did, but we don't. Well, that that um, implies adult because juveniles don't have a public criminal history. Yeah, right. So, so maybe we look at just adults for right now and then build upon that and see if we want to expand. Um, or, well, then how would we get the football teams? Or the church groups. Well, we'd have to use them next year and look and see if our process is going to lower the age. Uh, we're not, we can't tackle that in a month. We're not going to be, especially, I'm trying not to overload the police department with this. Uh, trying to sustain, develop a background process. Um, before we get into our first project. That's something we need to look at down the road, but it's not gonna be tackled in the next month. So, yeah, I, I have not uh, reached out to anybody who's under 18 on that volunteer list because uh, that's yeah. what I was thinking. That's a great question. Something we can discuss moving forward as far as expanding our um, expanding what our volunteer group is. So I'll be asking United Methodist Church, not the youth group, and we, should, we could ask churches, um, and just kind of shift a little bit as far as who we're asking for volunteers. Should we, um, I'm just wondering, should we just bookmark that date that we had said, September 10th and 11th? Should we put that out on social media, say there's gonna be a, an RBC work day if you want to volunteer, contact, you know, whoever to put, you know, to sign a waiver. And Who's the contact? Well, originally it was Kelly, but it sounds like we're shifting that to Mary or... Well, for the projects, though, weren't you going to oversee all that? Yeah, we could... Because we were coordinating projects. Yeah, that, that makes sense, too. Yeah, I can send it to me, and then we, I can send them to Mary for adding it to the list, yeah. Yeah, because I think I was just going to maintain the list, yeah. the volunteers. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is that... I think that makes sense a lot, because if we have something written down or saying that we're doing it on the state, then people are like, oh, yeah, that's... I guess I can do that. But, you know, I don't know. It's just an idea. I think it sounds good. Otherwise, we're just going to show up on that date and then people will drive by and see what's, what's going on. <coughs> Regarding uh, additional resources for volunteers, I was wondering, I know that um, uh, Bill Gamble's reached out to his organization and said, hey, you know, we've got, you know, we're looking for volunteers to the staff and maybe we have a staff day to help out. But I was wondering if uh, we could also maybe ask uh, the city of Manistee's uh, contractors of choice if they've got some folks that would be interested in, in helping us out. I, I don't know who who our contractors are, but um, well, typically the city bids out every all the jobs. What's that? The contractors on record, or like the for any. Are you looking for them to volunteer to help out? Just like we are reaching out to our employees here, our church groups, you know, I'm sure that there's a list of, uh, of contractors and just uh, if we have uh, our director of Depart uh, public works ask, hey, you know, we've got our NRBC here and we're looking for volunteers if you could ask your your team if anybody would like to um, follow up with uh, the NRBC get you on the list I'm just as a, as a general shout out I know we've got one from Spicer group sitting right here but well, I'm a contractor but okay <laughs> um, I don't know how that would I, I like the idea I don't know how that would I, I I don't know either, but yeah. there's there's no harm in asking, and sure. people can choose to volunteer or not. It's not a prerequisite. Just like when we reach out to the high schools or the churches, they can say no. You know, I'm, I'm busy, but it was just another thought. For sure. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we can. Um, 
Maybe could could you and I get together with Kelly or something to try to put a post together for that project date? Sure. And then um, yeah, we could put my the new city email on there, and people can reach out to me, and I could start. We can start adding people to the list if they reach out. Um, Are you talking about Kelly McCall? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So just a reminder: there's two meetings before our project. Uh, dates uh, August 22nd and September 7th so uh, the police department will work to get these waivers signed by homeowners <clears throat> I would recommend that September 7th is just to tie up all the assure all the loose stuff we should be pretty well along that's the Wednesday and our project's gonna be Saturday with the rain day of Sunday I believe yeah uh, so you know uh, we should have a lot of pieces in place we should know equipment's needed, dumps are needed. Uh, just to back up for one second, <clears throat> we spent uh, $1,400 in change on equipment. So there's roughly you know $1,000 left in our budget. And that budget is, we're July to July budget, so that budget has to last till July 1. So I think <clears throat> we need to figure out if we do need a dumpster, because that's gonna be the most expensive thing. Yeah. And if we do need to do that, we should probably vote on that or something next meeting. Certainly, that's why those project scopes are so important. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to go to the house, uh, contact me, and we'll try to facilitate it as, as best we can to go there with you, just to get a scope for it, or, or even a scope for beautification. Maybe find something that, you know, I don't know a lot of beautification that would require a dumpster, but this group talked about if they did need a dumpster, putting it in a central location, using pickup trucks to take it there so just stuff to think about between now and and really August 22nd and so yeah because I otherwise I mean we might have to skip the ones that are clean up if we don't have anywhere to put the stuff for cleaning up dumpsters are eight hundred to a thousand dollars like that the rest of our I think you can get one about 500 bucks depending we'll look into that the last one I bought personally was about five hundred dollars it was pretty big and taking advantage of the one bulk item, you know, it might sit there for a couple of weeks, but. Is there anyone in this group to be willing to work out, reach out to Republic and say, this is who we are? And to see, there had been conversations with Sergeant Schmilly, one of my patrol sergeants, about them giving a discount to city residents. That conversation kind of stalemated with this group. Is there anybody that has a relationship that would be willing to reach out to them and say, hey, we're looking for a dumpster once a year or on this date. Is there any way we can get a discount? We have very limited funds. Is there anyone who's comfortable having that conversation? Okay. That might be, I, I, I would, uh, I don't want to speak for that. would be a good opportunity for them and us to be receptive to give us a discount at dumpster and we might be able to, you know. I think we should know exactly what we need to be more effective for that conversation before we do that though. So, yes have a good goal for everybody to have that um, project scopes done by next meeting and then um, I'll, I'll put that on the agenda and then can reach um, since we've kind of gone back to equipment purchases yes um, I can get time on a laser to cut out the template but I might need a little bit of money for paint and rollers and stuff like that uh, I'll put together a budget for that I'm, not, I'm thinking like less than a hundred bucks but I don't know I can just send that to you Lucas okay for uh, putting our logo on the back of the bus mm -hmm. okay well I, I would bring the group whatever you want to get bring it to the group and they can approve it okay. <clears throat> but but we have to purchase it right you can't purchase it I can't reimburse you so I the police department has to purchase it okay so we'll see how we can manage that yeah yeah uh, so I'm assuming that uh, we could get equipment like I could send it to you and give you a, a list that you could go to Amazon or or right sure yeah but this commission needs to approve it right got it is spray paint or paint I think what we're talking about is rolling it on so it's gonna be paint okay. in a roller you know, if you can imagine laying a, a vest out flat laying a template over it and rolling over it with a paint roller but it's going to be a fabric paint. Okay. How many, did we end up getting more vests? We didn't. This conversation reminded me, I think this group wanted us to get 20 more vests. Is that what it was? I think, yeah. 
Yeah, this this conversation reminded me of that. So we can we can today. So I'll have twenty total. Is that what you're saying? No, what we have last. No, we. I think the first order was like twenty five. So we'd have like forty five. Oh, I thought it was ten. If we got twenty more, I think that's what it was. I'll double check. Somewhere in that range. Somewhere in that range. Okay. Cool. Anybody else have anything? Kelly? No? Mary? No. Nope. Okay. Motion to end the meeting. Motion. Yes, please. That's it. Looks good. Cool. All right.